In this video, we're going to go over basic rules for exponents regarding multiplying monomials. The problems that we're going to go over will look a lot like these. Uh, basically, when we're multiplying monomials, dividing monomials, or raising a power to a power. I'm going right into our first example here. So we have x squared times x cubed. This will equal x to the fifth. If we needed to break this down for more understanding, well, x squared is x times x. And x cubed is really x times x times x. So if we were to multiply these all together, we get x to the fifth. Very basically, when you're multiplying two monomials and the bases are the same, meaning the variables are the same, you add the exponents. So taking another example here, if we have 5x to the 7th times 2x to the 6th, well, we're multiplying two monomials. We will deal with the coefficients first. 5 times 2 is 10. Now we have the variable x in each one of these, and it in the first one it has an exponent of 7, in the second the x has an exponent of 6, so we will, well we're multiplying, the bases are the same, they're both x's, we'll add the exponents. 7 and 6 is 13. Take another problem here. We have 4a squared b cubed times 5a to the 4th, b to the 6th. Okay, we're multiplying. First of all, we'll do the coefficients. 4 times 5 is 20. Let's see if I can get that looking a little better. 20. Okay, bases that are the same. The a's are the same, so we'll add those exponents. That's a to the 6th. The b's here are the same. So we'll add those exponents. That's b, well, 6 and 3 is 9. So that's our answer. Okay, let's go into dividing monomials. This will be the fourth problem here. We have x to the fifth divided by x cubed. When we divide, and the bases are the same, we subtract, and the larger one wins. Well, 5 minus 3 is 2, and this is really over 1, but we don't need to write it that way. Another way to look at this problem would be, well, x to the fifth is x times x times x times x times x, and x cubed is x times x times x. So if we cancel out like terms, we can reduce and we're left with x squared. When dividing monomials and the bases are the same, subtract the exponents and let the larger exponent win. So that might be a little clearer in number 5. We're going to go 10a to the fourth b to the fifth over 5a to the sixth, b to the fourth. For the coefficients, it's regular division. The 10 over 5, well, that's 2. I'm going to bring over a fraction bar. Okay, a to the fourth is up top, a to the sixth is in the denominator. I'm going to subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2. 6 is larger, so I'm going to let that one win. It's going to be a to the second in the denominator. For the b's here, well, they're both b's, they have the same base. I'm going to subtract 5 minus 4 is 1, and the larger one is the 5, so it's going to be a b upstairs, and it's going to be singular. So that's the answer. Take another problem here. All right. We'll have to take 2x to the 7th, y to the 8th, z cubed, 
divided by 3x to the eighth z cubed. All right, with the coefficients, it's just regular division. It's going to be 2 over 3. The x's here, I have a 7 upstairs and an 8 downstairs. They're going to, I'm going to subtract. 8 minus 7 is 1. The larger one wins, so that's x to the first in the denominator. The y variable, there's only a single y variable, so it's going to remain the same, y to the eighth in the numerator. z cubed and z cubed. The, x, uh, the bases are the same. In this case, uh, we just subtract. 3 minus 3 is 0, which leaves us without any uh, z variable. So that would be the answer there. Okay, going into one more thing, which is uh, raising a power to a power. This is example number 7. We have x squared cubed. When we raise a power to a power, we multiply the exponents. So that means we're going to have x to the sixth. If we needed to break this down and look at it a little differently, we'd say we'd have x times x times x times x times x times x. Well, because that's x squared three times. So it's x to the sixth. And the rule here is that when raising a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. We have 3a squared b to the fifth raised to the fourth. Okay, first of all, 3 to the fourth. Well, I happen to know, just because I've done this a lot, that 3 to the fourth is 81. You could do this on a calculator, or you could multiply this out and get the same answer there. So 81. a squared raised to the fourth. Well, that's 2. Is, I am raising a power to a power, so I'm going to multiply the exponents. 2 times 4 is 8. So that's a to the eighth. And b to the fifth here raised to the fourth. Raise a power to a power. You multiply the exponents. That's b to the twentieth. And I've got time for yet one more example here. So number 9. We have negative 2 x cubed y to the fourth quantity cubed here. OK. Well, we can distribute this 3 over this monomial. Negative 2, negative 2 cubed equals negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which is opposite 8, or negative 8. Uh, I think I wrote that off the thing there. That equals negative 8. You can do this on a calculator. Um, just be aware that when you have an odd exponent and a negative number, your answer will also be negative. So we have opposite or negative 8. Uh, x cubed cubed, raise a power to a power we multiply. That's x to the ninth. And y to the 12th, because 4 times 3 is 12. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.